Hey everybody, Brent Johnson here with Heartfield Automation. I hope you guys had a great week. This week we're going to finish up our stepper motor project. We're going to, we're going to actually spin the motor utilizing MAP cockpit. We start, started setting everything up last week. So let's hop into it. All right, here we are. This is where we left off last week. We, we created, we set all the parameters. We got the hardware configuration all set up. We set the check boxes for MAP cockpit. And then this week I have the actual hardware hooked up right here, as you can see on this little screen here. I've got my MM module wired up where I've got plus 24 volts and then minus 24 volts here. Then I've got A naught, A and A naught for my stepper motor and B and B naught. Those are, it's very important that we wire this up how the pinouts are. If you have any questions about the pinout, it's really easy. You can go ahead to the help section here and click on contents. And then in the search, just go ahead and type in your stepper motor module. For example, I'm going to type in X20SM1446-1 and hit search. The first thing that comes up is this one. Just double click it. And then you can go right down to here to pin out. And this is going to tell you how you would want to wire this up. It's really important that you follow these instructions. If you wire it up incorrectly or send the incorrect voltage, you could blow this thing up and destroy stuff. And we don't want to do that. All right, go ahead and X out of here. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to make sure we're connected up, physically wired from our IF6 with an Ethernet cable into our controller, and make sure we're in run mode. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to transfer our project. This is the same project we created last week. One thing I want to make sure you change before you do the transfer is you go, we want to go to our SM module, right click on it and hit configuration. Under controller, hit the plus sign and then hit plus by mode, then hit plus by current. I change the current in this to the motor current that I have for the stepper motor. You're going to want to make sure you put the right current in for the stepper motor you're using. The stepper motor I have here said it, it maxes out at 1.7 amps. So I just changed the standstill and the constant and the speed change currents all to that 1.7 amps. All right, go ahead and save that, but save that for whatever current your motor is that you're using, and then close out of here, and then now we can go ahead and hit the transfer button. Now it's gonna rebuild the project, and it's, and it's gonna transfer it on down. I already have this project in my controller, so it's not gonna have any changes, but I'll go ahead and hit transfer anyways. Yours will have the, it may power it down and power it up a few times, and until it gets the right program on there. All right, so you can see mine says no difference as a transfer. Next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up a browser. So go ahead and minimize your Automation Studio project and click on Google Chrome or something similar to that. And you're gonna type in the IP address of the controller that you're hooked up to. So mine's 192.168.0.10 forward slash 8084 sorry, not forward slash, colon 8084 forward slash map cockpit. And the C on cockpit is capitalized. Go ahead and click enter. And then you're going to get a page that looks like this. Once you get to that page, click this little honeycomb looking symbol here. And then you're going to see your G axis underscore one. Go ahead and just click on the common button. And now here's where we get to actually play around and we can physically move this motor. It's, this is a really, really powerful tool called Map Cockpit. And it really was a couple of check buttons in our project. It was not that hard to do. So first what we need to do is we're gonna power on the, the motor. So go ahead and highlight over power on and click power on. And then you'll see down here where powered, powered on is true. Next, we're gonna to go to int home, all right? Next, we're gonna do a move absolute. So I have it set at 20 millimeters per second. I'm gonna change this to 10. I don't wanna to go too fast, otherwise we might not, and we might run into problems. And then I'm gonna go and change my position. I'm gonna go from zero to, let's call it 100. And I'm gonna go ahead and click move absolute. As you can see, the motor is actually spinning. I'm driving this motor. You can look at my position right up here and it's moving up to 100. It should stop at 100, and there we go. We saw that it stopped. If I go ahead and go and change this to zero, hit enter, and then hit move absolute, 
it will turn the other way and go back to zero. These are the same commands that we, next week we're gonna take these exact commands and actually put it in a structured text program, but it's really important to understand these different commands right here. As you can see, you can do a, um, you can do different moves. We're gonna move absolute. You can do a move additive. You can do a move velocity. You can do all kinds of different stuff in here. It's a super powerful tool and you can actually see, see the feedback. This is great for commissioning. If you wanna just, if you get a motor on an actuator and you just wanna move it a very small amount, you could go and do a move additive or a move absolute. You could do like one millimeter, for example, and go ahead and hit move absolute, and it's just gonna move just a little bit. And that's really good when you're commissioning stuff and you don't know which direction it's gonna go. You, you wanna understand this before you start programming these parameters in there. Next week, like I said, we're gonna hop into being able to actually physically put in a structured text program onto this controller. We'll have it probably move between a couple positions. And that's what I wanted to show you. I hope you have a great week and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks so much for watching this week, everybody. It was great to talk about Map Cockpit and how powerful of a, of a tool it is in the BNR tool, tool chest. There's a lot of great stuff that you can do with that. Next week, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna actually write a basic program for our stepper motor. We're gonna use some of the parameters that we were using today and just put it into a basic structured text program where we can actually move the motor around programmably. If you like these videos, go ahead and hit subscribe and hit like. There's a lot of other great content related to BNR that I have posted on this channel. I hope you have a great weekend and please stay safe.